Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Ericsson TV. Curtis here with Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, Lauren. I was uh, picking up a uh, an article written in the USA Today newspaper, and it talked about the different uh, preparations for retirement that are that, uh, based on age groups. Okay. Oh, okay. So right. you know they kind of did three blanket age groups. Uh, so there's obviously the baby boomers. Then there's uh, those are people that are. Uh, born uh, before 1965. Okay. And then you have uh, Generation X, which is people born between 65 and 1978. My and generation. Yeah. Let me guess, we didn't do any preparation. Well, I forgot there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then we have Millennials, people born after 1978. Okay. Uh, so we have people in this office that are in all three of those groups, which is kind That's of right. which is great. Uh, and we have clients in all those groups, but the, the, uh, I'm going to leave the baby boomers for last okay. uh, because they're the least prepared. Uh, <laughs> Was that the uh, case? Uh, but Generation X, the people born between 65 and 1978, they think they need about $1 million uh, to to have a comfortable retirement is what okay. their, their target is. Right. Uh, the average medium balance in their retirement account is about uh, 70000 So they got a, some catching up to do. Okay. The takeaway from this article is, though, that uh, there is still time. They, they do it, uh, but you know, time is so. But so they, and then they are showing uh, that they are saving more. Um, Eighty-four percent have started some type of retirement account. That's actually pretty um, good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, and um, they're saving about seven percent of their annual salaries. Huh. So well, maybe I'll make, make fun make, of my make, own generation. Yeah, so much. Make, make closer. <laughs> now, millennials, okay. uh, those born after seventy-eight, uh, they have very little belief that Social Security will be there for them. Uh, huh. They uh, have started saving. At the age of 22, by an average, and 71% wow. uh, of those are offered a retirement plan of some sort. Of, uh, they are tucking away 8% of their annual salaries. Wow! They have a median annual household retirement savings at 32,000. Good job, millennials. They are considered. They are now becoming an emerging generation of what's called super savers. Hmm. Um, they have uh, they have lofty aspirations of retiring 60% before age 65. And they recognize that uh, the retirement will be different from the parents, and they don't expect to re again rely on uh, defined benefit plans or Social Security. So they're they're doing the right thing. They've learned, learned something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> baby right. boomers. Okay. My generation. <laughs> the okay. average median savings is one hundred twenty-seven thousand. Uh, they think that uh, they, they they don't think they have enough to live comfortably. They think they think that they need to have that kind of household income to be comfortable in retirement. For one thing, 120, uh, they need to have uh, about 120,000 to live comfortably. Wow! And 36 percent do plan, unfortunately, to rely primarily on Social Security. That's not going to get you 120,000. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, as a takeaway from that, because they realize that they're not making it, uh, right? There's another article right above it. It's a whole different article. Bo boomers work at staying employed, and what that means yeah. is, is that. Uh, most baby boomers tend to work after normal retirement age or never retire at all. Yeah. And uh, about 65% of boomers uh, plan to work after age 65 or don't plan to retire. And yeah. the top reason is, is they know that they're short of retirement. Um, so they're, they're working on things to keep themselves marketable in case they lose their primary job. They, they right. want to keep working as their, that's their retirement strategy. Yeah. So, so what's your takeaway from all these things? I think the millennials are very smart because even though um, even though, okay, so I think you and I have talked about this a lot. You know, I don't really plan to retire exactly either no. because I really like what I'm doing. Right. But the problem is, you can't you can't plan that you'll be able to work past 65. Right. That's just not how Sometimes it's out of your control. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's not that's not necessarily how things go. So I think that you you it's better. It's much better. If not just it's better. It's much better to plan. That um, you you may have to retire in your 60s, right? Instead of uh, hoping that uh, right. there will always be something for you to do. I agree. Yeah, I think the takeaway from this is uh, whether you're a millennial, a Generation X, or a baby boomer, we can help you guide you to look, to maximize at least what right. you have been able to save and, and, and are accumulating for retirement, and, uh, and 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 at least make the best for taking income out. So right. Thank you very yes. much for watching this episode of Ericsson TV. We'll see you next time. Bye see now. you next time.